Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Erica or Ricky Mickey Plans if you're on Instagram. And I think I've only done one more of these ever in my life. Um, I'm going to do a flip through today. I usually don't save my planner pages. I know some people save them for like years and years. I don't. But this year I did keep a whole year's worth. And so I'm going to just flip through my year and just kind of show you what I did. And no, I never wrote my name in my planner because I hate my handwriting. So... <laughs> There you go. If I lose this, I guess, yeah, I've just got to hope that they can figure it out, out as mine. <clears throat> so here we go. So I started out with what I usually start out with, which is some sort of metallic spread for New Year's Eve. My word for last year was move, move. I said, move. Come on, girl, move, move already. Seriously, get up and move. Enough excuses, move. Did you move this week? The answer is I really didn't pay attention to my word this year. I didn't move enough. So I didn't, get any healthier, skinnier, anything. I failed. I failed. This was my Doctor Who week, which I adored. I loved this. I got these stickers online, these stickers here. And um, this washi was from Happy Planner, and it just fit perfectly because the female Doctor Who, she has rainbow on her shirt. So I loved this spread. I loved it. And back at this time, I was keeping track of my steps at the bottom of each day. So you'll see that for a little bit here. And on the weekends, I never do well on my steps. This was a wintery spread, so winter florals. This, I believe, came from Caliba Plan. I have several in this planner here that you will see with Caliba Plan stickers. This one was a planner challenge that I believe was called Mosaic. So I just used this washi tape that looks sort of like marble. And I hated it. I hated this. <laughs> I hated it. But I try. I used blue because it was my husband's birthday week and blue is one of his favorite colors. And and these are mosaics too. It's hard to tell. They're little gray tiles. It, it just, it didn't. I tried. Sometimes you try and it doesn't work. Sometimes you try and it does work. This one didn't. I don't use my currently pages. I rarely use my monthly pages. So we're just looking at weekly. This was another planner challenge. It was probably called 90s or something like that. I thought it looked very Saved by the Bell-esque, so I kind of liked it. Another planner challenge, this one was, I think, washi tape. And so it was also the week that the Olympics started, so I made the rings out of washi, and then I made this whole torch out of washi, which I sort of loved this. This might be my favorite thing in this whole planner. I love this. Um, yeah, this just brought me great joy. It was hard to do, but it brought me great joy. And then the rest of it was a rainbow to go with the um, the colors of the rings. This was my Valentine's Day spread. This is where I started. Instead of keeping track of my steps on each day, I started just doing it on one sticker, which works much better for me. Um, Calva Plan stickers again, and this was my last Plan With Me video for quite a while. I got kind of disenchanted with, I don't know, feeling like I was speaking to no one, inspiring no one, and so I gave up for a little while. So the rest of these in here that you're about to see have never really been shown, except I guess on as a still photograph on Instagram. So this one, I went with something moody and dark because it was the week of Good Friday. So these are Happy Planner stickers, which I do like. Again, didn't do that, didn't do that. And then we get into a few kind of calm and zen, zen sort of um, weeks. And, and I also start to try to just do spreads basically using just one sticker book. So this was all one sticker book and it is very um, zen and calming. This is the same sticker book, but a different color palette from it. Again, nice and zen and calming. This one, not so calm, but <laughs> um, most of these came from the same sticker book, except for these came from Caliba Plan, and it was St. Patrick's Week, so I used her green florals, which I enjoyed. And then this, I was starting to feel kind of springy, so I went purple. This was pretty monochromatic. A lot of these are in this little section of my planner. I kind of went with monochromatic. Um, in honor of the last week of MS Awareness Month, I went with orange this week. So orange is the MS color. This one, I have no idea why I picked green or picked these leaves. I don't remember why I picked it. I don't, but there you go, green. 
Oh, I know what it was. It was Palm Sunday, and these are like palm leaves. There we go. See? There we go. And then we move on to Easter, where I tried to go from dark for, you know, like Black Friday, or not Black Friday, Good Friday, and then go to lighter for Easter, and it didn't really come out that way. But, you know, it's still a cute spread. It just didn't do what I thought. And here, sticking with the one planner book, sticker book for the spread. This is not a Happy Planner sticker book. This is, um, oh, what is this one? This was the American Craft sticker book by Paige Evans, which I'll have a few spreads in here that are from this. I really do like this book. It's a nice book. So these all came from that, except for the boxes came from Colorful Boxes. This was Tech Week and Performance Week for our musical. My husband and I both direct a musical together at the high school. It's a big, big, big deal. It is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And basically this whole week, I knew I wasn't going to do anything except the musical. So I could just, you know, use these big stained glass windows that went with the uh, Sister Act theme. Yeah, during Tech Week, we don't do anything else. <laughs> it's just, that's all we do. That's all we do. It's just busy when you're the directors so and my daughter was in it too uh let's see oh prom weekend so that's why i went with the red um, and the florals kind of fit prom right prom was for my daughter it was her senior prom and then i started feeling summery and yellow is summery so i went with this one I, it was happy yellow and green really cute my daughter's graduation from high school. Our, our school colors are red and black, so that was an easy, easy choice. And I loved this big image at the bottom. It did make things a little cramped, but obviously, as you can see, I got it to work. And then with school being out and it being summer break, I went with bright, happy florals. And I went with yellows and pinks because a year ago on this date, my mother had passed and her favorite color was yellow. Her mom's favorite color was pink. And so, yeah, so had to have something to brighten my days. These stickers are really kind of cool. They're really quite 3D. Um, I had had these from scrapbooking days and decided I wanted to use them. So why I chose pink and or purple and yellow, I don't really know, but I did. And it's cute. This, I believe, was Pride Week. And these all came from the Rainbow Sticker Book. And yeah, it was an easy plan because of that. Just some checklists, you know, a few, a box on each day. And I was good to go. Easy peasy. The problem is, is there are six colors in that book and seven days in a week. So I had to just do a rainbow color this week out of washi. But you know what? It worked. Went with another rainbow, but this was Rainbow Florals, which I really, I, I liked this week. This was a fun week to look at. Um, yeah, this one was pleasing. With this grass kind of washy at the bottom, this brought me great joy to look at. And then another summery yellow spread. Um, my dad, his favorite song is Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, so I found a yellow polka dot balloon, and then just, there you go. That's where I went with it. <laughs> and there's nothing more joyful than the color yellow. I mean, let's just be honest. I do a pink lemonade spread just about every year because I love the combination of pink and yellow, and this was the week I did that. And let's see, where am I going now? Fourth of July, I wanted to do some fireworks but I didn't want red, white, and blue, so I found these fireworks and then just did those same colors and florals, which all came from Happy Planner. This is another spread from this book. Everything came out of that book, which, you know, I thought it was cute, and I like birds. I have a thing for birds, so, you know, it worked. This... This was not from that same book. This was a this was a Happy Planner book, except for this sticker. This did come out of the like a few of these. Okay, let me just try again. This was not all one sticker book. This was a few different sticker books. Some Happy Planner sticker books, some American Craft sticker books. It was several, but it, I like how they went together. I love doing this every once in a while. I know everybody who you know makes videos has done this at one time or another, so it's not very cat hair original, but I love the look of it especially with the big, bright, bold florals. So 
That was fun. It's hard to do, just so you know, because you got to cut everything out. Yeah. Yellow. I just went with a lot of yellow this year, apparently. Oh, I know why. I was going back to work. Teacher days and first day of school. And so I wanted to be able to look at this and still feel happy. Not that I'm not happy to go to school. I love my job, but, you know, summer being over, still kind of <laughs> can be a little sad. So I wanted to think happy and there you go. My daughter left for college, started her freshman year. So I put um, some paraphernalia from the school she's going to. That was a big deal for our family because it meant we were empty nesters, which brings me to this week. Um, these actually were stickers that all said different, like went together to be different words and I cut them to pieces to say empty nest. So these came out of a happy planner sticker book, but they did not say that. They were like these, like said some inspirational word and I just chopped them up and did that. And of course the birds are out of the nest and yeah, big deal, big deal for me, big deal. So I still wanted to be happy. I was happy because my son was coming home from school. He was coming home from working all summer at college. But unfortunately, I got COVID. Then my husband got COVID. And that's the day my son flew home. So he flew home to a COVID-filled house. And no matter how hard we tried, he ended up getting COVID. You know, spoiler right there. Yeah, we tried not to, but he did. See? And he got COVID. This group of stickers here, I've always looked at and never used. And then I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna use them together. And you know, it kind of worked, peach and purple, who knew? Another Zen kind of page, just chill and calm. And these were all the same sticker book. Another rainbow florals, except instead of doing them all at the top or all at the bottom, I alternated how I did that, which I kind of liked it. Um, it doesn't scream rainbow as much as some of the other spreads that are rainbow spreads, but it worked, it worked. My son then left for a three month trip to Nepal, Kathmandu. And so I printed this image from the internet, just like a silhouette of some of the sites that you'll see in Nepal and then um, in honor of the prayer flags, I did a birthday prayer flag for my birthday and my brother-in-law's birthday. And yeah, some journeys take us far from home. Some adventures lead us to our destiny. You know, he was, he was, he was exploring. Don't die without embracing the daring adventure that your life was, the adventure your life was meant to be. You know, he, he needed this adventure in his life. And spoiler, he came back alive and good. All right, um, my first fall spread, but I wanted to keep it kind of summery colors. So these are from, uh, I don't remember the name of the book, but they're Happy Planner. It's an older book, but I like how it's fall, but not fall, if that makes any sense. Like pastel fall, that's what I mean. And then we start getting into full fledged fall. Again, I did that thing down the middle, only this time it was with leaves instead of with florals. Total typical fall, red, or sorry, orange, green, brown. You know, very cute fall. I like fall, I love fall colors. This was still fall colors, but more florals, and I liked that. This is an older sticker book from Happy Planner that I liked how it worked. I like this color combination, peach and green. It makes me happy. And then I went with just pretty much orange on Halloween week. So I guess it's not Halloween week, but it felt like Halloween week at school because it was red ribbon week and there was like reddish orange pumpkins not just orange but reddish orange for red ribbon week and like I said I'm a teacher so red ribbon week was a big thing and this is Halloween week but I went with you know I went with it's got the black in it for Halloween but then it's more fall and November -y kind of so these came from, I don't know what book. Oh, these came from a different. These came from the Recollections sticker book, Theater of Stars. So I don't use this book very much. I bought it for my daughter, but I used it this week and it, it turned out pretty good. I think these are some happy planner florals that went with, that I put with it, but they worked. So 
did an, oh, this was um, election day and veterans day. So I went sort of patriotic looking, mostly blue and tan, um, but a little bit of red thrown in on these stickers. So that's my neutral zen relaxing <laughs> patriotic look. And I have the anchors because my father was in the Navy. Another fall spread with the copper florals. I love those. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one was fun to do. I just printed out this giant cornucopia and then just kind of everything else just goes with the cornucopia. So I had fun with this. Just so you know, it's very fun to teach kindergartners to say the word cornucopia. <laughs> if you've never tried it, it's a joy. They stumble over that word like crazy. This was my son while he was in Nepal. He decided to go to Everest. And so this was his um, agenda. And so I wanted to keep track of which days he was, you know, did he make it on that day? Did he not make it? Because who knew if he was going to make it or not? Um, but yeah, he went to base camp at Everest and he loved it. He felt so good doing that. So this was kind of my connection to him while he was there. Just trying to, and I didn't hear from him every day because, you know, imagine that not great Wi-Fi up in the Himalayas. What do you know? And then this was like the map of where he went and his way back. So I was not with him, but I was with him. Does that make sense? Yeah. This was Santa's list. So I made these little tags and they fold up so that I could mark what I got for each person, what I was going to get for each person, that kind of thing. My son, we had to do it at the last minute because he's very hard to buy for. And we had to wait for him to get back from Nepal because we didn't even know what he wanted. This was a planner challenge about Christmas lights. And so I took these old scrapbooking stickers and put them on and I just did a whole ton of colors. So it, it is Christmassy, but not just red and green. I liked how it looked. This was a planner challenge about dashing through the snow. So instead of regular snow, I used um, red snowflake stickers, again, from my scrapbooking days. So they've got jewels on them, which makes it a little, you know, when you lay your hand on it to write, you get poked by these jewels, but it's all good. This, um, I do a poinsettia sticker just about every, or poinsettia spread every year. I love poinsettias. And then I loved this Christmas is coming with the fat little goose. Cause if you don't know that song, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. So that, that made me smile every day that I looked at it. And this was my Christmas spread, but not gaudy red and green, more of a muted red and green. And it was like a Christmas village down here and, you know, pieces of Christmas village all throughout. And I, this, this is probably my second favorite spread for the whole, the whole year. I love this spread. And then that brings us to the last spread of the planner, which is this snowy, snowy winter spread. Cause this was with um, the winter storm Elliot. So we were freezing. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we were traveling. So I just put a sticker, a box for each day. I knew something was gonna happen on those days. And you know, I filled it in as we went cause who knows when you're traveling, what all's gonna happen. Oh, and we got a new puppy. I'll try to put her picture up there. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. And we had to find a name. And so we went through Skylar and Mavis and Veda and Willow and Salem. Because get this, she was born on Halloween in a funeral home. I mean, how cool is that? So we went with a lot of Halloweeny names and then Skylar, just because I liked it. But we ended up landing on Mavis. So that's her name, Mavis. Oh, love her. She's so cute. And that is the end of it. So Thank you for watching my flip through and my next video should be the first week in the new year of a planner. So yeah, I hope you are having a great new year. I hope last year wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. And I hope next year is even better than you expect it to be. And yes, I need to go get a drink. I'm losing my voice. Can you hear that? So thanks for watching. Have a great, happy new year. Bye-bye.